Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. In this video, I'm going to talk about the toggle management in Pega. Before going into the toggle, let's talk about a term beta. A lot of softwares, they introduce some beta features. Let's take an example of Microsoft. If you go to Microsoft Azure, there you will find a lot of features that are beta features. So why do we need beta features? Beta features can be introduced to test out the future on a certain set of users. You may receive feedback, you may get some positive as well as negative feedback. You may have some places of improvement where you can add a few more features and make it more as a stable. So beta can be considered as instable, but not the right term, but you can think it of like a testing feature, which we call it as beta feature. So at the later point of time, either it can go as a stable feature or it can also be dropped. Keep in mind, you can also drop a beta feature if it is not a success one. I'm here to promote my video course, the Pega Masterclass, which is already live in Udemy as well as my own self-hosting platform. There are many students actively learning with my course material. If you are a fresher, beginner or an intermediate, or if you are preparing for some interviews, definitely my course can help you with the preparation. Because in the course, I have covered almost everything, like from the basics to all the advanced level. And the course material will also be periodically updated with some new topics. Currently, some discount program is running. If you want to find the discounts, please visit the links in the description of this video, where I have provided the discount links for both the Udemy as well as the self-hosting platform. So I would say, do not miss it. You can enroll at the earliest possible. Now. Let's come to Pega. In Pega also, let's take a requirement where you want to implement some beta features, where you want to test out some features for a certain set of uses. In such cases, you can use the toggles. Toggles are instances in Pega that can help with doing the beta testing. So the term toggle is basically a switch, right? Like you do a off and on. Off, on, true, false, it's a Boolean, it's zero, one. So you can compare it with anyone. But what I meant here is toggles, it always returns as some true or false. Either you can switch it on or you can switch it off. That is one. Also, you can switch it on for certain set of users and switch it off for the remaining users. So that is also possible in the toggle management. And the next one is I mentioned here that it evolved from the dynamic system settings. Why I meant here is toggles were introduced in the later versions, not in the Pega 6 versions or in the early Pega 7 versions. So what I meant here is in production, you may need to enable some kind of switch. How do you do that? Before toggle, if you think of, I have developed something in the early Pega versions. How I do is I create a dynamic system setting. I give a dynamic system setting value as true. And then I create a when rule that evaluates the dynamic system setting. In the dynamic system setting video, I already explained you how to evaluate a dynamic system setting value. So if it is true, then the when rule returns me true. If it is false, then the when rule returns me false. So with the dynamic system setting valuation, I can get it as a switch kind of thing, right? Because dynamic system settings are data instances that can be easily updated in production. So in production, if I want to switch it on certain features, I just go to dynamic system setting. I just set it to true. And then I evaluate at certain places. I go to section. If I want to display a UI based on certain conditions, I have a DSS for it. I can switch it on and off. And then based on the DSS, I display the UI. So this is like a older versions, which I did. And with the Pega recent versions, with Pega 8 versions, when the toggles gets introduced, I no more want to create a DSS manually. All I can go is just go to toggle management, create a new toggle. At the back end, Pega do use some win rule. It automatically it can create a win rule. But the thing is, it is easily manageable under the toggle management landing page. You no need to worry about which DSS you have to control, how to set the value. Everything can be controlled in the toggle management. That is why I mentioned the second line. Maybe you might have not used the DSS as a switch in the previous versions, but some of you might have used it. Okay, now let's switch our focus only to the toggles. Now let's go to Designer Studio and see the places where we can introduce this toggle management. So here I have logged in into the Designer Studio and let's go to the toggle management landing page. To navigate, go to configure, system, and then go to release. Under the release, you have the toggle because toggle helps with the beta releases. Now go to toggle 
and here you can find the landing page already pega did provide a lot of existing toggles that is used out of the box i did something or on my name because i did some kind of trial and error with the toggles so that is why you find it under my name but all these you can see the application context is pega rules and the associated rule set is pega rule set so definitely all these comes out of the box so this is where you can find all the toggles so before going to create a new toggle let's explore some existing toggles let's open the first toggle if i click here on the edit button there i can find different configurations for the toggle first is the application context whatever toggles you create you have to definitely specify the application context we already know whatever rules whatever data instance you create it is always nice to tag the rules and data instance with the application context with the rules it is mandatory you have to do it you have to specify it into the application context and with data instance also you can specify some rule set that is part of the data instance so application context is always be there and then you give a name for that toggle identifier then give a description meaningful description so that everyone can understand what this switch is meant for and then you also have some external id like if you have some kind of project management tool like jira or the azure devops then you can give the id the beta release future id which can help so that everyone will understand okay this is part of the epic some number okay and then associated rule set you can give and this is the main thing you can enable it for three different groups one you can enable for everyone toggle for everyone the second is you can enable it only for certain set of users that are part of the access group we all know that pega operators are part of access group so multiple users or operators can be part of a single access group so you can also allow it for certain set of users or if you are just doing testing you want to test only for yourself you can very well do it you can say only for myself if i enable it it is applicable only for me if you are one of the operator id and for you it is always switch off only for me it is switch on okay now if you think of switch i have switch box i am just doing on and off but at the real time there should be some kind of fan or there should be some kind of light that is connected to the switch right we are controlling how the light is getting displayed how the fan is round or how the air conditioner is controlled right now we have to find out the places which can be controlled by the toggles so this is one of the existing overtb now if you go to one more overtb toggle there you find there are some bend rules so pega did create out of the box bend rules for few places and for other places it didn't create okay let's check out the toggle for which a bend rule is present you have the same set of configurations only thing is this toggle has an associated bend rule it is check box it is selected so this also has the same configuration so what does this bend rule meant let's open the bend rule and check if you open the bend rule in the bend rule we have a condition we have a condition to check if is toggle is enabled so you give the toggle name and then you check if it is enabled so this bend rule always returns true when the toggle is enabled when the toggle is disabled or switched off then it always returns false okay now we have a condition place here the bend rule can evaluate the toggle now all you have to do is the places where you do the pega development you can plug in the bend rule if you want to use it in the activity you can very well use it in the precondition if you want to use it in the section you can very well use it as a precondition when condition and the when condition based on the condition you can make it some visible condition whatever use case you want to do whatever features you want to do you can do it using a simple when condition that can act as a switch and the when rule uses the toggle now let's create a new toggle i'm going to hide some of my ui element based on the toggle switch go to the toggle management landing page create a new toggle that will open up a pop up and first specify an application context current application context climbs app i'm going to say here i'm going to say hide policy details for now i don't want to use policy details into the climb section just for the demo purpose i'm doing this but in real time as i told any beta features can be tagged to one switch and then i say beta testing something external id i don't have an external id and it is not a mandatory now let's enable this toggle for everyone it means i switched on for all the operators who are part of the climb sap application so i'm just saying enable for all then you have to specify the rule set either it can be a branch or it can be a direct rule set i'm just going to say a direct rule set here and then do a submit okay now you may get a question toggle is a data instance then why do we need to give a rule set version as i told you can also control creating a when rule you see here a when rule got created you know the reason why i'll show you one more time if you go to create new toggle 
here you have an option this toggle will be referenced by rules it means it automatically creates a when rule if you don't use this option pega will not create a when rule for you in a later point of time you can evaluate there are options how you can evaluate the toggle rule you can create your own when rule later point of time but i would say always just create a when rule pega will automatically give a when rule name also you cannot control the when rule name so that is a little bit disadvantage or it's okay you can accept it just follow the standard you can use this checkbox so here you see the when rule is auto generated it always starts with toggle and then it gives the name the identifier and then it also has some timestamp so unique timestamp we just created here let's open the when rule here the when rule it uses the expression is toggle enabled you can also find the expression if you are creating a when rule later point of the time so what i meant here is let's say you create a new toggle and then you never selected this option it means a when rule will not be created in a later point of time if you want to evaluate this toggle with the when rule then all you have to do is just create a when rule and then go to the advanced block use the expression is toggle enabled so this comes out of the box just easy all you have to do is specify your toggle name we do a refresh here it is already specified it specified the rule set so this is the rule set name keep in mind this is the rule set name and this is the toggle name so you have to specify the rule set and toggle name and then it will check if the switch is on if it is on the when rule evaluates to true okay now you have a when rule the final thing is you have to control your air conditioner you have to control your lights right the lights and air conditioner you can compare it to the activities and section let's go to the section and use this when rule it's just a normal visible condition when rule so what i meant here is i gave to the climbs request case type just quickly follow up with me i'm just opening the section behind the customer details so here if i say climbs amount never this is going to be the use case but i'm just saying you the climbs amount is controlled based on a when rule so visibility condition is going to be on the when rule and the when rule is going to be of this name one more interesting thing is this when rule is created at other rate base class why this other rate base class pega always creates the toggle under the class other rate base class so you will find it under other rate base class so just go to more and then or just search for it you will find it so when this when condition is true then you display it otherwise you don't display it okay now if i create a new climbs records case definitely i should see the climbs amount right so that is what we are going to see now here you see climbs amount is visible now if i go to the toggle just go to toggle management and then say disable for everyone just do a submit now it is disable for everyone including me if i create a new case climbs amount will not be visible because i disabled the beta feature i disabled the feature which i wanted to implement i just switch it off so it will never be displayed as you can see it just started with customer id there is no climb somewhere so this is one place this is one place where you can use a when rule just think it of the places where you can use the when rule at different places because if you think a beta feature it's not about just the section right it can be activity it can be different different rules so all those places you can use the single when rule that acts as a switch for you that is where the toggle is configured so you just control it with one switch that's the power of toggle okay now if i go to toggle management again and then if i say if it is applicable only for me again it's going to come back i don't think i want to show and test every scenario but if i create a new climbs record you are going to see the climbs amount shortly here you see climbs amount is visible so toggle can be applied for everyone for a set of access group users or only for individual users now now let's say we did all the development if you want to migrate this to higher environments how do you do it how do you promote your beta features to higher environment you have to promote some data instances all these data instances can be easily found under the toggle just search for toggle there you will find a data admin toggle which is the data instance data admin toggle access group which is the access group which controls set of users who can use or or for whom the toggle is applied and data admin toggle operator it also can be applied to individual operator now let's go to data admin toggle click the instances these are all data instances so definitely you have to migrate the data instances to higher environment because you will not go to higher environment and create a toggle again you have to 
migrate these data instances don't forget it also when rule will be part of the rule set so definitely when you deploy a rule set it will be automatically migrated but don't forget to migrate the data instance so this is the toggle id as you can see if you go to view xml there you will find an interesting configuration you see here py setting is false right so py setting that controls the the switch value in the data instance you see py setting is false but what i did here is i went to toggle management i switch it as on right although it is showing on here in the data instance it is false you know the reason why just think it off if you go here and then you check it is only applicable to my operator so that is why on the data instance side data instance it is applicable to everyone so that is always false so where it will be true is if you go to operator there you will find climb sap hide policy details it is under my operator name so here if you go and then check for the same value if you see py setting it is true and then under access group you don't find one because you never specified anything on the access group now if i want to promote this to higher and you run on only for my operator definitely i have to promote this instance right data admin toggle hyphen operator instance i have to promote it in the product rule now just try it for the access group if i go to toggle management and then i say only for my access group also now if you do a submit and then click on access group you will find a new instance got created now the next question is which takes the precedence now because here i configured two things here in the toggle management if you see it is on and if you go here i said it is available for the access group and then i also said it is available for me now let's say if i switch it off still i will get the access because it takes the priority if i say enable for all irrespective of access group everyone will be applicable if i say enable for my access group irrespective of different different operator all the operator who are part of the access group it will be enable for the operator so the order takes the priority so even if you have multiple on and off whichever gets the higher priority it will be applied to everyone i hope you understood that point so these are all about the toggles i have used toggles in my project i hope you might have also used the toggles in your project toggle is also one of the powerful way to test your beta features i hope you find something interesting in this video i'll end this video here see you in the next video